Hi guys, welcome to this uh, Chris Ryan Golf video. Um, we're going to do a video today, um, a little bit around angle of attack, um, and sort of just sort of integrate that into the video. But also to do with horizontal swing plane um, and how the terms and the, the phrases that people use can get misinterpreted, uh, and how when people try and do one thing, they can often fall into some mistakes uh, in certain other areas. So generally, what we would tend to see with golfers is very, very rarely will I try and get someone to be shallower into the golf ball. I spend most time coaching golfers trying to get the angle of attack, so the angle at which the golf club approaches the golf ball to be steeper. So we're hitting a little bit more down into the golf ball. When we can hit down into the golf ball and the low point of the arc is after the ball, this enables us to get better contact. Most of the time we see the low point of the arc being back here. Golfers are far too shallow into the golf ball. They tend to get ground first, thin shots, put them in the rough and they really struggle. So very often we're trying to get golfers a lot steeper into the golf ball. Okay? Angle, of, angle of approach becoming about you know, four or five degrees down with a, with a seven iron. Now, one of the problems I tend to see when we do this is that golfers, as soon as we hear or they hear the term steeper, then they very often start to work into a position from where the camera would be, where they're working over here. Okay? Now, most golfers would, would recognize that a position which we'd call steep, over the top, and that certainly is steep, but that's the horizontal swing plane. That's how we view the golf swing from this angle. So just because my golf club gets into a steeper position here, that doesn't really mean it's going to be steeper into the golf ball. Okay? The two Definitely there is a relationship, I'm not saying there isn't, but they don't, so they're not that um, closely connected. What we often tend to see is when somebody gets very, very steep on the way down, their body will often back up this way to shallow the golf club. We end up getting actually a shallower angle of approach. So it's understanding the concept that just because my golf swing gets steeper, that doesn't mean my golf club's angle of attack is going to get steeper. It's often the opposite. Okay? So if you were to view a golf swing from where the camera is there, we can have a shallow swing, okay? And then we can have a steeper swing. And the shape of the swing probably wouldn't look too different from where, where you're viewing this from, okay? There was no visible difference because my horizontal swing plane stayed the same. How I want to get that golf club to be a steeper approach into the ball is by making sure I've got more weight forwards and I've got the handle more forwards. These are the two things, the main two things, which are gonna allow me to be steeper into the golf ball, okay? Now that's not really gonna affect what my golf swing would look like from a down the line view. So very often we can get someone who's got maybe a fairly neutral path, fairly neutral plane, and as soon as we try and increase the angle of attack and make it more down, we often see the plane going over this way, and then they shallow, and we can get the path going left. Okay, and when the path goes left, we can get pulls, we can get fades, we can get slices, we can get all those shots we don't really want. In reality, if we've got a path which is fairly neutral, and we've got a horizontal swing plane, which is pretty good, if we can simply just increase the angle of approach, make it more down, and yet keep the swing looking the same, we should actually find that the path moves more out to the right of target because we're hitting the ball a little bit earlier on the arc. Okay? So the shots we're then going to get is probably more pushes, push draws, shots that we probably want. Okay? So definitely we want golfers to probably get a little bit steeper. That's going to give them a better strike, more consistency, probably a better ball flight. But it's understanding and how this is reflected by the swing, horizontal swing plane. We don't want that golf swing to change this way to try and change how we hit the golf ball. Okay? It's understanding the two, the relationship between the two. Okay? So if we can understand this concept, we want golfers to get generally a bit steeper, take a divot after the ball, get the low point target side of the golf ball, but making sure this doesn't change the swing shape too much. If we can do that, we should actually start hitting some soft draws.